Hello. Just come in and on the video camera just to say hi and talk a little bit. Uh-oh. I'm trying to get stuff right here. Okay. Ooh, I'm walking with my dog. There she is, girl of girl. Oh shit. <laughs> Drop my keys. Look at that. I can't do nothing, bro. Look at girl, where you going? You walking with your mama? And the other dog sad because I didn't bring him with us. Baby, all right. Okay. We walk. Walking out the complex. Need to get out. Let's look at God's creation. Yeah, look at my hair. Ooh. I'm letting it grow out. So you know this growing out stage. Ugh, sucks to me. I hate it. But I'm still here. Okay. God say, put a smile in your face. I try your father. What she think she see over there? What she think she see? What you see, girl? What you see, girl, girl? Come on, let's go. Keep on walking. Ain't nothing over there for you. Okay. So, still, they bugs and stuff. They be flying on you. Well, anyway, I'm still in this dilemma of trying to find us somewhere to stay. You know, advocate, advocate, advocate. Now she gotta use the bathroom. These bugs off me. Come on, girl, let's go. You should still be smelling everybody else's pee. <laughs> she is a trip. Where did she go? Where you pulling to? Where you pulling to? All right, come on, let's go. We could have went through the gate. Car Jane went through. My daughter should be home in a bag. Ooh, I'm trying to open up this gate. See you again, there you go. Okay. Girl, what's this? I acting crazy. She acted crazy. Good girl. Stop acting like you in there walk before. Come on. Okay, we're gonna go up the sidewalk. Who do you go rock? You gonna climb up the rock? You gonna pee on the rock like a boy? The girl. Over him. Now what's wrong with her? But anyway, but this situation where our landlord failed to get the stairs stopped, fixed. Look there, come on here. And so we are forced to move out of our complex, out of our condo, because the inspection did not pass for the program that we're on called TBRA. And that's uh, tenant-based rental assistance for people who are living with HIV. So, I've been looking for the past two months to find somewhere else to stay for my family. I'm not gonna give up. Of course, I'm going by the grace of God. But it's something else. It's rarely nobody wants to take the TBRA program. And then when you when you um, see what the requirements are for like either a house or apartment or a condo, they want you to make two or three times the rent. Like, if that was the case, I had my house by now if I made that much. Look girl. Look girl. Look girl. Watch what you're doing. There she go. She hear a dog. So anyway, yeah, you got to think about all the stuff that you go through. Not even just being HIV positive, it's any, just daily life, life trials. Look at the side of my face, like it's sinking in. I still love myself though. Girl to girl, I'm not going to walk you. I'm going to take you back home. You don't stop. Let's go. Walk right.
So I'm trusting in God because he always direct me to the right path and where we should go, whether we should stay in this same community, same city. I don't know. Let me push my glasses up. But that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling... It's like not depressing because I don't want to start saying, yeah, you depressed, you depressed. But it's just a lot and I'm tired of having to fight and fight. But really, I don't have to fight. My God fight for me. Wow, I look like a hammock over there. Look, girl, why are you in them in that gray? Come on over here. You got to pee? <laughs> She's so mad. Okay. Look like a real ham. Now, look at this ham. This is so dangerous. Why is this open? Look at that. You see that girl? Why is that thing open? Mm, 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 mm. Come on, girl. You don't have to walk in the grass because I do not want you walking in the grass and getting flee. It's a beautiful day. No. What I tell you, I'm going to pop you again. You don't stop. It's beautiful here in Georgia. Very beautiful. So, you know, since the negligence of my landlord fixing what needs to be fixed is the stair railing, because the stair railing is coming off the brick wall it leads to the doorway we gotta move so i you know i don't really want to move i don't want to move out of the city where i'm in because i want my daughter to continue being in the same city school limit this is one of the best city school limits school districts where i'm at in georgia so i asked god God, do you want me to just stay in the same state? Or do you want me to go out of state? I don't know. Originally, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Get over here. What is wrong with you? This girl. Now she's smelling a tree like a, a tree, a pole, like all dogs do. Okay. So, I know where I'm walking. My daughter gonna see me. Oh, that's a dead end street. Huh, I didn't know that. As long as I've been living over here. So, that's what I'm going through. Advocating for my family to have a decent place to live. The listing that the organization that I'm with, which is Aid Atlanta, gave me. <laughs> it's like, if they gave me two listings. The first listing is like in slum areas where I don't want to move to. I don't want to move there. Okay, something just fell out the tree. I don't want to move there. The second one, majority of it, all of them don't want to take the program, except the program that I'm in. I don't care telling people that I'm HIV positive. Shit, everybody got to know where they live. Everybody got to have a place to live. I'm sorry I said that wrong. So I asked my landlord, well, since they ain't paying you no more, can I just pay you $400? $400 a month? until my husband get his social security, which we've been fighting for five years. 
I asked him to pray about it. Two days later, he came back. He said, you know what? I'm going to take you up on your offer. Now, that's not bad. For where I live at, nice neighborhood. You can't beat that. But the thing is, my income alone, it's hard. It's very hard. Ooh, walked into a spider web. Get out of my face. Look at her walking close to the street. Good girl. Good girl. Why are you walking close to the street? You like walking in the grass. <laughs> We're not walking over there in the street, dear. You have to pee. There she goes. She, there she go. Walking. There she go. Sometimes she'll walk and pee at the same time. Like, girl, what in the world? What? No. What dog walks and pees at the same time? Okay. On up a hill. 11 minutes. Not too bad. Okay. Let's walk again. Come on. Why are you walking on that side? Huh? Why are you walking on that side? Come on. Glad we have sidewalks. A lot of neighborhoods don't even have sidewalks. Good girl, you're going to get hit by a car. Feels so good out here. It's like in the 70s. It's in the 70s. Mm -mm. Okay, here come another pole. Let's see how you're going to do it this time. Look at all them other dogs. Yeah, come on, girl. Come on here. It's a good walk. I needed it. I needed this walk. Here come a school bus. It might be Brianna. I don't know. Might be Brianna. Unless you're like, Mama, what you doing out right there? Okay. No, you're not walking in people's grass. She's just trying to cross me. I'm walking up to the stop sign. You just want to walk in the street and get hit? Girl, girl, come over here. Girl, girl, come over here. Thank you. What kind of help can I get for my family? If you can help me, let me know. I'm in the state of Georgia. Ooh, the bug. Girl, girl, get your butt over here. Get over here. Okay. Good girl, walk. Walked up another hill. You go through a lot of emotions when you're HIV positive. A lot of emotions. But you have to learn how to deal with them in a positive way and not a negative way. Okay, I don't want to go that way. Let's go. Come on, we turn back around. Get out, people, grass. No. I share a lot of my thoughts on Instagram. 
on Facebook. And wherever I can, I talked a lot in different churches. Different um, workshops about me living with HIV. I used to be on the the speakers bureau for Aid Atlanta. Girl, would you come on here? Get out of that grass. Come on. Ooh, this child. Him. Yeah. Having dogs is just like having a child. You got to train it. So, I used to love speaking at the schools to try and educate them on HIV and AIDS. You know, we had a moderator to explain a lot of things about HIV. There she go peeing again. Come on, girl. And I love that when the children used to walk up to me and was saying they glad that I came and spoke. And they understand now that they have to get tested, especially if they know they've been sexually involved. Yeah, it was a good feeling. Good feeling to get a standing ovation, you know. Some people say, girl, you need to write you a book. Writing a book, that's a process. It's something I have to learn on who to connect with. Come on, keep going, girl. No, get out of that, get out that grass. Get out the grass, come on. Keep going. Somebody's having a garage sale. Hmm. So pretty. So no, I don't feel ashamed or guilty now. I used to when I was first diagnosed because I wasn't educated. But now since I'm educated, you know, I understand it more. And whoever comes up to me and want to speak to me or give me a hug, that's fine. Because you're not going to get it by just talking to me or giving me a hug. But, you know, because a lot of people are still uneducated. Uneducated. Some people, you know, you call ignorant because they're uneducated. Get educated about things that's going on in the world. And you would know what's going on. And you won't be out of educational stuff that you need to learn. So we're walking back toward the place where we live. Going down the hill. Down the hill. Okay. So anyway, I just want to come on and talk a little bit. And I'm going to get off the phone. So I'll see y'all later. Remember, we are responsible for our own actions. Yeah, my glasses keep falling down.